This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razi Alkane and I'm back with part 4 of my series on Jinbao Bruticus, uh, the oversized um, Jinbao Bruticus. And today we're doing Blast Off, the non-combat vehicle of the Combaticons. But he's good. Uh, I really like the uh, shuttle mode on this one. Uh, it's uh, pretty big. Uh, it cleans up really nice uh, compared to unfortunately Astro Train and Galaxy Shuttle, which you know the back could use a bit of help. But no, this is a very good uh, blast off. Um, same thing with the standing as the other. You know they have you know like weak feet basically, but still worth it. I like the style of this figure, and I can't wait now to get you know Bruticus combine and uh, do uh, do that. So. But before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. Much more sophisticated than any of your crude weapons. Okay, blast off. Uh, again, a simpler transformation and onslaught, and uh, he's uh, quite uh, quite fun. Uh, little guns, uh, nicely painted, no waffles. I like that. And then you have the uh, back of the uh, shuttle, basically, that transform into uh, you know rocket launchers. Uh, reminds me of uh, Commando. Wow, just the tip. Anyway, uh, you can uh, slide it on or off so that you can pretend you're reloading. You have two pegs. I'm guessing, you know, that's that's in the alt mode. And if you want to use it for a gun, you kind of you kind of can do it. I hate those pegs though. Like I really don't like because this is loose. So when you push on it, it just wants to fold up or. So that's annoying. But if you hold everything properly, there you go. You can have a missile launcher. But I prefer to use the other clip and put it here. And then now you have a rocket cannon uh, on your wrist. It looks good. All right. Um, whoa, sorry. Uh, he has a weird feet, but he has like that uh, thruster heel. So he's actually quite stable compared to the others. Um, but again, if you put too much pressure on it, oh, actually, he's holding pretty good. Oh, ah. okay. Well, I take it back. He's the most stable of uh, the ones I reviewed so far. Uh, he has like a super. I realize now that they all have a bit of light piping, but it doesn't work because it's like too far and it's just a little slit. So you have to put a flashlight straight back. So yeah, I don't. Uh, I, I don't do that. Uh, I like light piping, but it's not like the main reason why I collect toys. Uh, you have a nice color, the purple, silver, uh, the gray, and the brown or tan tan uh, of the uh, shuttle. Uh, that looks good. A little bit of yellow for the missiles on the wings. And he cleans up pretty good. You do have a big waffle, or like big uh, hole in the, inside of the arm. Uh, both arms and but for the rest looks pretty good. I mean, there's peggles everywhere, but you kind of use them most of them. So it's useful, uh, but the interior of the legs are full. So, you know, not bad at all. Uh, you have huge shoulder pads uh, and they will hinder your Ferris wheel completely. So, yeah, and you can put them you know up down depends how you want you do have a rotation underneath the shoulder you have your elbow band like that it's good you have a well because of transformation you do have a back and forth you have a full rotation and the finger will open all four connected together uh you have your merry-go-round no problem there no ab crunch oh the head is on a ball joint and you know up and down a little bit like this 
or attitude. Uh, you do have quite a nice Johnny Cage. Actually, you can do more than a Johnny Cage, but that's all we need, right? And then you have a rotation underneath the uh, hip joint. You have a knee bend, almost 90. Uh, very tight ratchet, kick back, lift the skirt. I said lift the skirt, you have a kick up, kick forward, I mean. Uh, nice, uh, okay, well, I already did the knee, sorry. Uh, you have like the feet, yeah, so you have a heel movement, toe movement, and a rocker, and then it rotates for transformation. So you can use that to pose your figures. There you go. So this, this, he looks good. I mean, it's a blast off. And, you know, you have the little hand cannon, hand gun, you can put it on the wrist too. Oh, it's a tight one in the wrist though, or the forearm. And there you go. And this is gonna combine in alt mode to do the uh, back of the shuttle. Looks good, little lights, nicely painted. All right. Yes, I wouldn't want to be seen by anyone I know in this getup. Right. Let's do a quick comparison with Masterpiece Sideswipe MP12 Plus KO. So yeah, the scaling is, uh, again, uh, Jinbao is oversized. So it's bigger than Masterpiece, in my opinion. And now we're gonna do the transformation, which again, I've practiced because Onslaught was terrible to, to do um, on screen without practice. So you have all of this. The first thing I like to do is, um, oh yeah. Okay, the arms first. So this, you open this up like that. Cause that's gonna come on the side. You wanna put the arms in there. And there's a peg here that's gonna go in the back here. Like this. Uh, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Flip this inside. Open this up and then lift a little bit this and then put the arms in there. And there you go. They don't, oh yeah, they do connect. And then you might want to wait for this part here. Uh, but you want to get the arms out of the way so that you can rotate easily this part here. Because this is going to close over the head. So you don't have to put the head anywhere. And then this is just gonna close over and clip in. Then you extend this part here, this part here, and then you clip it here, clip it here, and you're all clipped. Uh, you kinda wanna get things out of the way. Uh, plug the feet together. There's three pegs, well, two pegs. Uh, big one here, small one here. Oh, and th three pegs, yeah, you have this one here as well. <clears throat> And then just, all right, so together, they don't want to do it. All right, so solo push, then clip. All right. And then you want to take that, now. Oh. Well, I guess you can do it separately. Um, like this. And then you take the other one. You have two pegs, two holes, there you go. Clip it together. Extend the wings. This is stable, this is stable. And then you wanna rotate your foot and put it like that underneath. And that's gonna act like wheels, kinda. But it's not the most stable of uh, wheel things. But you do have wheels in front as well. Then you plug your cannon here, here. Everything is stable. Uh, the wings, they flap a little bit. So there you go, blast off. You know, nice size, can't complain. Looks better than the Siege and Legacy mode. I never expected I would say that, but I do like this shuttle more than Astro Train, which is one of my favorite figure, but it looks so clean. The only problem are the feet. That's annoying. And the fact that these things always move. But 
Yeah, I mean, there's landing gear. That's 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 a big plus. So yeah, I don't know if this you're supposed to leave it there or yeah, looks better that way. Oh yeah, there you go. That's a nice nice alt mode. I love the clear window, uh, the clear hinge. I like a little less, uh, but I see how they did it. Uh, there's you know little gaps, but not a deal breaker. Uh, you do have here you can see let me that you can see all the way through so if you don't want that you can move these pins forward and now you can see the same hole from the back so you know doesn't fix you have a hole and underneath it cleans up real nice except the feet again yep nice alt mode i wish these would clip somehow but there's nothing underneath no peg. So, yeah. Just leave it there. Blast off! And now we're going to do the uh, ease on arm. So, I'm going to need two parts. And since he's the right arm, I'm going to need the right hand. And I'm guessing now I'm going to use this clip. Uh, so, basically, yeah, the, the hands are really nicely articulated. Three, uh, well, yeah, one two, three joints at each fingers. Uh, the thumb only has the ball joint and this. And basically this piece here, that like the, the actual hand without the fingers, it's the same for both hands. It's just that they put a little, you know, ball, a little ball peg just to fill the hole. And it's the same thing on the other. So I think that's really cool. And nice paint. But we'll review this more in Bruticus mode. So now let me go get the instructions and let's make an arm. Okay. So first thing they tell you to push what the whole back. Okay. So the legs, hmm. they're pegged in pretty good, but they don't want you to remove the back. So nope, I'm going to have to, oh. Uh, yeah, these uh, the wings are on a peg, so they tend to want to fall off easily. All right, I'm gonna remove this. Sorry, off camera, because that was tight. So let's reform this. Okay, so I got this part done. Thank you. Um, and then okay, so what? All right. Uh, oh, and now I have to remove this. Come on, start with that. Uh, the wings you want to flap over and... Okay, there's a peg here that's going to go into that hole. No, it's not. Is it? Eh. That's what it shows here, but... I don't know. It doesn't want to stay. But anyway, we'll uh, put it like that and... Fold the this like that. Okay. Do you want you to? Oh, I'm gonna remove the guns. Sorry. And lift this here. And here, there's a bit of a spruce dress here. I'll clean that up. Nope. All right. So we have this like that. Boom. Oh, I have to get the arms out. All right. So we're putting it back in robot mode, kinda. Uh, extend it like this. Close this. Rotate it this way. Okay, it took me a while to see what they wanted us to see, but basically this is what it's supposed to look like. So you take the arm when it's, you know, Let's say in the, on this side like that. So you open it, you close it, then you rotate this, put it here. But basically you want this, the screw on the outside. You want this thing like that, like this, and then you fold it so that you get something like that. 
Um, I hopefully this makes sense uh, later in other steps. Now that we have this, um, there's a little red part here. Basically, it's just to push these things together. I'm guessing. Uh, so da -da -da, here you wanna rotate. No, it's already okay. You, they want you to do this. See, they show you the rotation, and then you have to look at the other picture to see what's the actual rotation. Now, you take the hand, you split the... And then you put... There's a... Hmm. Are they meaning this big here? Which would... not make much sense oh no wow is that it yep okay so you push these thing down and then there's a a molded detail here where this is gonna hold just on a screw and you clip the whole clip thing over it and it looks pretty stable all right so you have this Push it together. Now you have your wings all flapped out. All right. Then on this side here, no, this side here. Oh, I'm gonna close that. You're gonna <clears throat> lift this up, pull this impossible peg down. Yeah, this is on a, let me get a, a sprue. Not a sprue, a spudger. There you go. So you get this out like that. This is so tiny. Okay, the thing. Nope. What's this for? I don't get it. All right. So anyway, you have your arm like this. And then this, I guess you. There you go. Still have the head there. Maybe I should have turned that around. You know what? I'll do that. Because I don't plan on retransforming this guy ever again. Uh, except maybe if I do get the decals for it. I don't know. So let's close that. Kind of looks better without the head looking at you from the armpit, basically. The face is the armpit. <clears throat> okay, they say turn around, but where am I going? This is just the shuttle mode. Where's the other part? Okay, so there's... Huh. The instruction is missing a page. Unless this is the arm. I still don't know what's this for. That's annoying. I was expecting the continuation of that. Well, sorry guys. That, that I should have read uh, ahead. So basically, you pull this out, and that's your arm. Uh, that's your right arm. I mean, let's hope that there's no other step that... Or I'll figure it out, but it's just... Huh. These instructions are not the best. But there you go, that's the arm mode. Quite long. Uh, and then you do have a... Uh, articulation here at the elbow so all right we'll take a look at that in bruticus mode so there you go final look at uh blast off in this mode what do i do with hold on that's that's a good question now what do i do with um the extra part of the uh hold on there you go ah god it's fidgety and now it's falling down and always on camera god i hate that all right well there you go and it looks kind of like an arm so we'll give that the benefit of the doubt i don't like this part here why is it standing out maybe it's gonna make sense when i do combine it what do i do with this now it's nowhere to be found on the instructions so we'll figure it out all right well there you go arm mode for bruticus uh the right arm and uh, hopefully, well, there you go. He just settled himself. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, 
Nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.